Ladies, please welcome Chair Fortune MPW International, Nina Easton. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to beautiful Toronto for our Fortune Most Powerful Women International. We were here, I was on this stage um, just a year ago, for uh, a little over a year ago, for Fortune Global Forum. And we had the Fortune Most Powerful Women International in Montreal last year. So we're in our second year of this wonderful partnership with Canada. Um, and it's been a short friendship and we really treasure it. So thank you for having us. I want to begin by acknowledging that the land on which we gather is the traditional and unceded territory of the Mississaugas of the New Credit, a place which has long served as a site of meeting and exchange among nations. So, it's been a remarkable year of global, uh, on the global stage for women. Uh, our theme this year, Leading Together, highlights the incredible things that happen when women put their collective voices and collective action together. Over the next days, um, you'll hear a lot of personal stories from people, but we'll also talk about areas where women have come together, partnered together, and created new things. That's really what the Fortune Most Powerful Women community, and we call it a community, not a conference, it's a community, that's what we're all about. We're now entering our third decade of MPW, and over the years, um, I've personally witnessed the growth and the community and the, just the incredible things that come out of these summits. I want to introduce my cohorts, Patty Sellers. Patty is um, my dear friend, and she is Fortune Most Powerful Women Chair. Your title always cha changes, summit. but basically, Summit, Summit, summit Chair. Um, if you want to know about the US Summit, please talk to Patty. My three, Seetha Raman, she's based in London. She is our Fortune Most Powerful Women International Co Chair. Thank you. She just arrived. I also want to take a moment to thank our partners. We couldn't have done this without you. Um, our global finance partner, the Royal Bank of Canada. And our partners, Accenture. And of course, Herman Miller with those fabulous chairs. So just a friendly a reminder about our media policy, everything on the stage is public uh, and being covered and being tweeted about. Things that are said at a table or in the hallway um, between two people, it's up to you whether you want to make that public. We, we, don't want to we want to respect everybody's privacy. Also, yay, we are live streaming this event. So be sure to tell your friends and colleagues to watch it. We're really excited about that. Um, we also want to let you know and or remind you, actually, about how we try to keep you connected throughout the year, both virtually and in person. So one of the ways we do that is the Fortune Broadsheet. And if you haven't signed up for that, please do. It's a great way to stay as part of the MPW community. We'll also be live tweeting on stage discussions at Fortune MPW. And you can join the online conversation, of course, hashtag Fortune MPW. Uh, and I'm told the Wi-Fi password is also Fortune MPW. Um, now I'd like to introduce my three, my colleague, uh, to lead us in the big get to know you. Come on up, my three. But I first want to have, no music yet, um, I want to have my three here because she is a veteran broadcast journalist who's covered Europe for a, a long time. She's covered politics and business, knows the scene really well. I'm sure we've been watching the last three weeks um, somewhat of a drama or dramas unfold. My three, what do you make of it? <laughs> well, if anyone watches late night shows, um, especially British late night shows, a lot of um, our hosts have been describing this as an opportunity for the British people to feel very sorry for your neighbors uh, south of the border and give uh, a pre certain president some company in the G7. But it's. Unprecedented, uh, we've never had something like this happen and we're now dealing with essentially what is a constitutional crisis. And it's case. hard for me looking at this because we also have our London Most Powerful, Fortune Most Powerful Women's Summit, we have a presence there. Um, what do you see happening in the next 
several weeks. Um, so this is the magic question that no one has an answer to, but there are bets and odds that we can talk about. Uh, we have a prime minister who's essentially said that he is, would rather be dead in a ditch than go back to Brussels to uh, ask for an extension. Dead in a ditch is, uh, is a stretch, but a lot of <laughs> people are betting the, on the fact that he may, at the end of the day, come back with essentially the same deal that the former prime minister had. Um, and when it doesn't go through parliament, because he can't break the law, there is a, now a law, as we all know, that he has to have a deal, can't be a no-deal exit. Um, essentially what will happen, the bets are that he will resign, forcing someone else to either take on the baton of asking for an extension, but again, you never know with Brussels saying that there's no deal. Well, are you putting money on it is the real question. I'm putting um, money on a resignation. But it, yeah. it, you are, but I mean, the, the other question is there is a potential, you've even heard in the air, civil unrest, yep. um, big concern if there's a hard Brexit, uh, is, that's really a possibility? It could be if you go by certain documents called the yellow hammer doc documents. Um, some people call it the base case scenario. Some people are calling it the worst case scenario. Let's call it the original version of it, which was base case, where if medicines and oil and food don't get in, um, the UK's own civil service has said that, yes, there will be civil unrest. Because if people don't have medication, life-saving medication, you're yeah. going to run into trouble. Well, on that bright note, I'm going to turn it so over bright. to you. Well, I just, so it's a bright note for the Canadians because you think you've had drama here um, and we think we've had drama in the U.S. Uh, th there's you guys. It's a competition. It's a global competition right now. <laughs> Who has it worse? The big get to know you. Go for it. My favorite part. Right. So, ladies, this is, uh, again, my favorite part. It's the first thing I ever did at a Fortune MPW, thanks to Patty. Um, what we essentially do here is that we meet all our fellow participants, get a sense of who's in the room, and we do it in three seconds, name, title, and company. Uh, no more than that, just because it's about getting a sense of who everyone is in the room, rather than a full-on life story, which we can exchange just a little bit later. So we're going to get started on that side of the room. Um, name, title, company, and then pass the mic along. Uh, Sue McConaughey, uh, U.S. Costco Wholesale uh, Vice President uh, over in Diversity and Inclusion. André Brien, Costco Canada, Senior Vice President. Kim Mason, Senior Vice President, Business Distribution, RBC. Cynthia Hansen, uh, EVP and President, Gas Distribution and Storage, Enbridge. Kathy Hay, President CEO, Kids Help Phone. Sue Love, Vice President and Treasurer, Export Development Canada. Juanita Dixon, President and CFO, Gusto 54 Restaurant Group. Janet Zuccarini, CEO, Gusto 54 Restaurant Group. Irene Chang Britt, too many companies to name. Uh, I chair one private. Three, I'm on three public boards, and I'm on a private capital board. And Lim O'Brien, Vice Chair, Hydric and Struggles, Global CEO and Board Practice, based in New York. Betty Del Bianco, Chief Legal and Administrative Officer, Celestica. Uh, Mary Stevens, uh, Head Global uh, Product Development and Innovation for the Herman Miller Group of Companies. Janessa Greening, President and CEO of the BC Women's Health Foundation. Uh, Jaggi Sahoda, Vice President of Consumer Health, tell us. Patty Sellers, co-founder, Fortune Most Powerful Women, and chair of the Fortune Most Powerful Women Summit in the US. Uh, Michelle Romano, co-founder and president of ClearBank, and one of the dragons on Dragonston. Hi, I'm Karen Sullivan. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Chartwell Retirement Residences. Hi, my name's Deb Voorhees, and I'm a partner at Big Win Group Executive Search and Talent Strategy. Good afternoon, Alex Palladino, Chief Revenue Officer of Prometric, based in New York. I'm also co-president of the Women's Bond Club in New York City, just focused on advancing women. So a topic for today. Good afternoon. Is it on? Oh, there it is. Good afternoon, Chitra Nabat, Global Head of Market Solutions at Genpact. 
Hi, Tracy Travis, Chief Financial Officer, Estee Lauder Companies. Hi, Maddie Yeager, External Communications at the Estee Lauder Companies. Hi, Chi Tan, Chief Financial Officer of Real, Real, uh, Real Can Investment Trust. Gianna Maines, President and CEO of Inmax Corporation. Blanca Trevino, President and CEO of Softec. Yvonne Wassenaar, President and CEO of Puppet. We're an infrastructure automation software company. Hi, I'm Kim Tabak, and I'm the Chief People Officer at League. Hello, I'm Christine Landry. I'm a Group Chief Executive at Conduit Incorporated. Hi, Franca Smith, Rio Can Reit, VP Finance. Marcia Moffat, Country Head for Canada for BlackRock Asset Management. Hello, my name is Ananya. I'm currently leading a machine learning team at IBM. Just had my genetic data organization sold to a company called Consensus. Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Flanagan. I'm CEO and founder of Actua, a national charity working on youth employability skills. Good afternoon, Carolyn Gale. I am the uh, managing director responsible for our technology financial services work at Accenture. Hi, I'm Carol Deacon. I'm the chief, chief operating officer of FAF Automotive Partners. Hi, I'm Karen Kaplan. I'm chairman and CEO of Hill Holiday, based in Boston, Massachusetts. Hi, Patty. Hello, I'm uh, Teresa Barrera. I'm the global chief marketing officer for Pulis Sapien, and I'm also based in Boston. Hi, I'm Tanya Van Beeson. I'm the executive director for Canada for Catalyst. Hi, I'm Deborah Gillis, President and CEO, Center for Addiction and Mental Health Foundation. Hi, I'm Maria Lewis, Managing Director, RBC Capital Markets. Hello, Robin Washington, Chief Financial Officer, Gilead Sciences. Hi, Jennifer Torrey, Chief Administrative Officer of RBC, and Patty was saying that I should also say, since it ended yesterday, Chair of the Toronto International Film Festival Board. Hi, I'm Patty Shugart. I am the head of the Global Corporate Bank at uh, RBC Capital Markets. Hi, Kate Brecken. I'm CFO at First Capital Realty. Hi, I'm Kumi Somaskandan. I'm at RBC Investor and Treasury Services, and I'm responsible for our Canadian client operations. Good afternoon. I'm Shanine Bruder, and I'm Executive Vice President of Operations for Royal Bank of Canada. Hi, I'm Scotty Greenwood. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Canadian American Business Council, partner at Crestview Strategy based in Washington, D.C., and president of the Shawnee and Bruder Fan Club. Hi, I'm Coach Kathy Kemper, tennis professional and CEO and founder of the Institute for Education, headquartered in Washington, D.C. Hi, I'm Anna Schneider, Senior Vice President, Industry Government Relations for Volkswagen Group of America. Bonjour, I'm Caroline Kotze. I'm the president and founder of Women in Governance, closing the gender gap in the workplace, based in Montreal, working in Canada and the US. Lila Wong, vice president, Global Rewards and Talent at Celestica. Good afternoon, I'm Lori Flanagan. I'm vice president of communications for the personal and commercial banking organization at Royal Bank. Hello, I'm Carrie Ann Santaguida, and I'm vice president, general manager at American Express. Hi, Jessica McDonald, Chair of Canada Post Corporation. Hi, Natalia de Grave, IBM, Cloud and Cognitive Latin America. Hi, everyone. I'm Ashley Tappan, North American Consulting for Insignium Breakthrough and Innovation Consulting. Hi, I'm Janice Top, partner at Hoop Capital Partners Healthcare of Ontario Pension Plan. Victoria Greaves, Managing Director for Accenture in comms, media, and high tech. June Zarang, Consultant with Insignium. Lori Fleece, SVP, Health and Wellness, Sam's Club, and Principal, Store Number 8 with Walmart. Hi there, Marika Waddell, Vertical Lead, Global Business Marketing at Facebook. 
I'm Melinda Park. I'm a partner and the past chair of Borden Ladner Gervais. Hi, I'm Zabine Herji, advisor, private and public sector, and corporate and not for profit director. Good afternoon. I'm Lisa Kimmel. I am chair and CEO of Edelman Canada and Latin America, and I also oversee our global women's equality network. Good afternoon, Kamal Jolly. I'm EVP and General Counsel of Mundy Holdings, which owns and operates retirement homes. Sina Sranatsky, Managing Director with Marshall McLennan Company, based in Chicago. Hi, I'm Carrie McKenna, Vice President of Customer Experience at Rakuten Kobo. Hi, I'm Sajal Patel, Founder and CEO of Sage L and Sage Wealth Consulting. Hi, I'm Debbie Fung, co-founder and CEO of Yoga Tree Studios in Toronto. Hi, Mona Singh, owner and CFO of Equity Builders. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Vanessa Conlomo. I'm the CFO of Siemens Canada Smart Infrastructure. And is it on? There we go. Uh, Hanine Kalaf. I'm the project manager for the office of the CEO at X Prize Foundation, based in LA. Hi, Anusha Ansari, CEO of XPRIZE Foundation and also a um, member of the board of Table Corporation. Hi everyone, Pamela Warren. I'm a partner with Egon Zender, which is a global executive search and leadership services firm. Hi, Janet Beadle, Managing Director, RBC Capital Markets. Hi, Vicki Trumbull, Managing Director and Co-Head Infrastructure Finance at RBC and Co-Head of the Women's Infrastructure Network in Toronto. Hi, Jackie Nixon, Director at RBC Capital Markets. Nicole Butcher, Senior Vice President, uh, Corporate Business Development and Strategy at Ontario Power Generation. Hello, Kathy McCrum, Executive Vice President of HR and Safety at SAS Power. Good afternoon, Paulette, Senior President and CEO of the Canadian Women's Foundation. Hi, I'm Beth Summers. I'm the EVP and CFO of Superior Plus Corp. Hi, I'm Lydia Bugden, and I'm CEO and Managing Partner of Stuart McKelvey. Hi, I'm Martha McGarry, and I'm a partner with Skadden Arps in New York. Hello, my name is Jocelyn Graham. I'm a senior partner with McKinsey and & Company, and I also lead our women's initiative in North America. Hi, Neela Montgomery, CEO of Crate & Barrel. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. I am co-founder and co-CEO of Nature's Path Foods, which is a organic cereal. And your name was? My name is Ratna Stevens. I forgot. <laughs> That's okay, we all do it. <laughs> it tells you you're coming from all the way from the West Coast, so. Jet lag forgiven. Yes. Hi, I'm Jody Wallace. I'm a, the Managing Director for Artificial Intelligence and Applied Intelligence at Accenture in Canada. Hello, my name is Jane Kerr. I'm a Managing Director with Accenture in Canada. I run our resources sector. So did we leave anyone out? Um, has everyone introduced themselves? Yes, we have one person right here. Uh, sorry for being late. My name is Lynn Roger. I'm a senior executive of BMO Financial Group. Well, thank you for being with us. Ladies, this is a great opportunity to say, wow, what an amazing room. So please give yourselves a big round of applause for being here. <laughs> <laughs> 